Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to learn how to use one of the lights that are built into Roblox. So what we need is a part, and I'm just gonna add a sphere. Okay, and let me change the material to plastic and the color to white. Okay, and I'm gonna change the size again to one. Okay, let me move this. I actually want this kind of high and anchored. And we're gonna play around with this uh, height here in a second to, to make sure that it, it looks good. I'm gonna call this my bulb because it is my light source. And I am going to attach a spotlight. Yeah, there are three different lights and they all do different things, but we're gonna learn the spotlight first. And one thing I wanna show you is that when you turn this on, the light is pointing sideways, okay? And we want it to point down, so how do we do that? Well, let's go into the settings and let's see here. We have an angle here that's 90 degrees, that's not it. But there's also a face, and right now it is pointing off of the front face, and we want it to point off of the bottom face. There it goes, now it is pointing down. Okay, now the angle is how like large of a cone this light makes, and we actually want that smaller, so let's make that a 45. Okay, good. Uh, we've got our color, it's white. Uh, range, we, weren't, we won't mess with that yet. The brightness though, it's not bright enough. Let's make that 50. There it goes. Okay, now if we move this light source, the bulb, we can actually move it until, there it goes. Now you can see the light effect really well right there. Okay, so you'll just have to move your bulb up and down until you can see the light source. And uh, the other thing is, if we go to the spotlight again, you can see the range. If we change that, so if I made that, I don't know, 25. Now the range is much higher, and I'm able to move this higher up. And it gets really bright when it gets close to the end of that range. Okay? So I'm just going to move it back to what it was, which was a 16. Okay? And we have a light. Um, the only other thing that I think makes this look better is if we use the neon material. Let me show you what that looks like. So if we choose neon, where is it? Here it is. It actually makes our sphere look like it's glowing. And we also have the light effect. So it looks like a real light source. And that's what I used when I made my um, my little street light. Let's see if there's any other... Any other um, oh, you can also change the color. So we can definitely you know, make this a green light or a blue light or a red light, uh, whatever you'd like. Pink is nice. Um, yeah, I do like the light one too, but I'll just leave it at, yeah, at, uh, at white. Okay, so you can change the color. Um, you can change the strength of the light. Uh, shadows, let me see. Oh, huh, I'm not really sure what that one does. Um, and that's about it actually for this light. Um, but you can use these in combination, right? So. You can have more than one of these. And something that I would use this for would be like anytime, like what we were doing with the maze, right? With the maze, uh, there just wasn't enough light inside. And so you could put some of these in there to kind of um, let the player see inside of some structure that just did not have enough light, okay? And uh, that's it actually for this light source. Um, you can see that I made a lamp over here. Let me zoom in on my lamp. And you can do the same thing, right? I did the exact same thing. I have a little white sphere here that's neon that has a spotlight attached. And I just made this um, really simple street light using cylinders and spheres in order to make a realistic looking street light, okay? And I did the exact same thing that I did right here. Okay, and so that's it basically for the spotlight. And um, in the next video, we will learn about the particle emitter.